Let's get some more thoughts now and opinion on the social impact this uh, conflict's having. Uh, from someone born and raised in Israel, joining me uh, for that no, uh, comment is political activist Yuri Horror. She's actually on the line from Colchester, UK tonight. Yuri, hi there. I know you've been listening in the last couple of minutes. Yes, I have. Um, wow, well, clearly Israel, of course, has a duty to protect its citizens. Public support for military actions, military actions extremely high. Do you support the operation in Gaza, though? Absolutely not. Why not? Um, because what we're seeing in Gaza is, is, uh, is really Israeli aggression. And, uh, you know, I, I have to admit that I haven't been following uh, the, the RT uh, uh, co coverage, but I have been following some of the other coverage by, by CNN, the BBC, and, and some of the other uh, networks. And uh, I, I'm, you know, I, I can't say that I'm disappointed because I'm used to this kind of coverage. Uh, where um, Hamas is is often uh, portrayed as quote unquote militants, mm. whereas um, what is what Israel and the Israeli military has been doing is is uh, portrayed as self defense or, or or defending the Israeli people. Um, where, on, where what we're really seeing is uh, a continuation of aggression that is not just the aggression is it's not just aggression that has started in the last few days or last few weeks uh, and, and not just the last few years even but this you know we have to, to contextualize what Israel is doing in the Gaza Strip and also in the West Bank within the context of the occupation and the occupation started in 1967 and some might say even even earlier than that and and the people in the Gaza Strip and the Palestinian people in general uh, are people who live with um, with no um, uh, I, I wouldn't say that they live without human rights I mean everybody has human rights but these people are not afforded the rights to which they are entitled well, now Yes, yes. Yuri, time's tight, I'm afraid. That's, that's the only thing. We've only got a couple of minutes for our whole chat, I'm afraid. We could talk about this all night, of course. Um, basic question. This is what Israel's saying. Hamas brought this particular incident that's going on now on itself. What other Israeli reaction could there have been to, to rocket attacks coming into its territory? Look, rocket attacks, um, yeah, we, 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 can, we can debate what started this particular, uh, uh, this last round of back and forth, uh, and, and even this is debatable whether whether a particular rocket that's, that, that, that was launched from Gaza into Israel started th this last uh, back and forth, or a particular uh, air raid from Israel into a, a, a football field where where Palestinian children were playing uh, started the, the in, you know this particular uh, uh, duel, if if you may. Uh, but this, but this, this is a, a petty discussion. The discussion mm -hmm. is not who started this little fight. The, que the question is who started the war, which is the larger picture. And the larger picture, like I said, does did not start yesterday or last week. It's it's it started uh, several decades ago. But there is, and, and, but there yes, is strong sir. rhetoric. Brit, I'm trying to just keep it up to date, only because we're out of time. Um, strong rhetoric from senior Israeli figures, even now, calling for the ethnic cleansing of Gaza. It's most worrying times like this that the public, I guess, is most vulnerable to such ideas. No, it's a big danger. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we, we've, see, we've seen uh, Gil, uh, Gilad Sharon, the son, the son of former Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, in, a, in an opinion article in, in the Jerusalem Post, uh, calling for genocide. I mean, I, you know, I think it's outrageous, not just that he, uh, that he wrote this article, but that, it, 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 you know, that the editors of, of a distinguished newspaper in Israel, I mean, albeit a, a you know, a known right-wing newspaper, but still a, a news, you know, a newspaper that is part of the mainstream, allowed him to, to, to air such opinions which, which, you know, if, if they were, you know, people in, in, in Rwanda, people in, in the former Yugoslavia were, 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 were sent to, to The Hague, you know, after having, having written words as, as, as sharp and, and, and blunt as, as uh, sorry, sharp and blunt are, are, are <laughs>
get the point. <laughs> as, as, as cruel and, and inhumane as, as, as the ones that, that Mr. Sharon has, has written. And, 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 you know, it, 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 it's unheard of. And I, I, you know, I, and I have to say, it's not, it's not an individual politician here and there. Uh, sad, very, I'm, I'm, I'm very sad and ashamed to say that uh, recent opinion polls that were published in, in Israeli newspapers, I believe in Aretz recently, have shown that, that nearly 90% of the populace um, in, in the country of which I am a citizen, and as you said, I grew up in, uh, uh, su support this operation and, and support, uh, um, you know, what, what, what is considered by many to be collateral damage uh, of, of, of ki the killings of, of, of children and, and women and, and the elderly. Uh, uh, and 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 you know what 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 we recently heard just a few minutes ago by one of the one of the spokespeople of of of, of the government of Israel were you know, who blamed you're terribly sorry we are we we're going to have to cut it there um, I know this is a story that's very close to your heart um, you, you feel passionately about it and we do appreciate being on the program I can also invite you to watch our coverage as well it's not like CNN it's not like BBC we work hard to tell the other side of the story we know you're going to watch us hopefully in future activist Yuri Harish thank you very much for being on the line from Colchester. Thank you.